Hey guys, how's it going? So, decided to give you a quick update on how my semester has been going thus far. Uh, so, fourth and final semester of nursing school. Uh, it's been great. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the level of stress is still there, but I can definitely feel um, that the stress level has decreased a little bit. Uh, you know, first, second, and third semester, you're, you're taking a lot of classes and there's a lot of exams and you're stressed about that. Uh, but the fourth semester, the level of stress it just isn't there. There's still stress, believe, believe it or not, but uh, you know we're more focused on passing our comp predictor and passing our boards, our NCLEX, right? And knowing enough information in order to do so. So the level of stress is just different. There's a lot of group projects, a lot of class projects that are involved in the fourth semester. So uh, in a way, I definitely have a lot more free time and um, I'm forever grateful for that. I've been able to hang out with some people, some friends, and do some things that I haven't been able to do in the first, second, and third semester. So that's something you guys have to look forward to. I know a lot of you are starting your first semester of this, first semester of nursing school of this semester. So uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, I promise. Uh, for the most part, I'm taking uh, my preceptorship, uh, community leadership, and transition to practice. Transition to practice is basically an in class, uh, a bit, it's basically a class in which the entire endeavor is to prepare us to pass our board exam. Literally all we do is do question after question, do remediation after remediation, uh, reading ATI chapters of maternity, pediatrics, fundamentals, med search, pharmacology, nutrition, uh, leadership community, and uh, try to increase our scores to prepare us to take that board exam. So that class is obviously extremely advantageous. Um, community, we're learning about environmental health care, learning how to educate patients throughout the community. Uh, most of the patients that we see in the hospital have health care. So we're kind of only being exposed to a small portion of the population um, throughout our community health clinic rotation. You know, we're seeing patients who are in an area that is underserved. You know, it's sort of an impoverished area, relative term, impoverished area in America. And uh, these patients don't have access to health care. They don't have access to educational um, outlets that teach them how to prevent STDs, how to prevent unwanted pregnancies. So learning about all the things that are involved in community health it's, it's really exciting and I, I'm really enjoying that class. Um, leadership, that is an amazing class, without a doubt my favorite class this semester. We're learning about you know, what it means to be a leader, how to lead other people. You know, Having a BSN, it's supposed to set you up to be um, a leader in your field, you know, either through hiring your education or being in a leadership role throughout the hospital. You know, your house supervisors, your clinical supervisors, uh, your directors, and your CNOs. You know, so, you know, you never know what exactly those jobs entail until you're educated on it or you're actually doing the job. Those jobs are extremely stressful. Uh, they're responsible for a lot of information. They're responsible for a lot of people. They're responsible for huge budgets. I mean, million dollar budgets. So it's it's a lot of information um, that these people have to um, get used to living with. And, you know, the level of humility that is needed for that job, it's, it's, it's substantial. So definitely have a lot more respect for those uh, levels, levels of positions in the hospital. Uh, and then transition to practice, or not transition to practice, my preceptorship uh, throughout nursing school, you guys will basically be following nurses um, and, you know, learning as you go. But this four semester, they're trying to, you know, bring you from walking all the way up to flying. So now you, you are taking care of your own patients. Um, eventually you'll get to four. As of right now, we only have one. Uh, and I'm responsible for doing all the assessments on my patients, all the charting on my patients, administering all the medications, providing the S-bar report to the night shift nurse, um, you know, f figuring out what the plan is for the rest of the day, determining whether my patient is stable or, or are they de deteriorating. That's my patient. That's who I'm responsible for. So they're trying to get you ready and mold you into the person you're going to be in a couple of months, which is obviously a registered nurse. So really, really enjoy that class as well. Yeah, so that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, four semester of nursing school has gone very well, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm um, learning a lot of information. You know, it's it's really nice to see the person that you become uh, towards the end of nursing school. You know, I've definitely become a better person um, now than I was, you know, going into the first semester. Uh, you just know a lot more. Um, the humility level that you have, it's, it's, it's greater than it was throughout your first semester. And, you know, you, you just become the person that you really want to be come the fourth semester, at least for me. I've learned a lot of information. I've learned that, you know, this is a selfless profession and it's no longer about me anymore. Um, and I've learned that throughout going through, throughout learning things in the classroom setting, learning things in the clinical setting and doing a lot of reading, you know, learning from Dr. O, the PA pro, learning from Dr. Quinones on his book on, you know, his journey from migrant farm worker to 
being a brain surgeon. I've learned it from reading John Belensky's book on how to do well in PA school. So, you know, the person that I am today in the fourth semester of nursing school is definitely better than the person that I was in the first semester. Um, just know a lot more, and I think I'm a lot more respect respectful for patients, and I have a lot more empathy for them, and, you know, I understand what exactly this job entails, and I'm excited to get into it. So um, that's pretty much about it, guys. If you guys have any questions or any video recommendations that you want me to do, leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, if I get more than two or three comments um, letting me know that I should do a certain video, then I'll do that video. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos that people are requesting me to do that I've already done. So I don't know if they maybe just need to go back and watch the videos or not, but I have all my videos there on the channel, guys, so you guys can access those anytime you need to. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll continue to try to update you guys every second I get.